Welcome to Season 17 of Classical Music Discoveries. This is your hostess, Sandy Hedgecock. Thank you for joining our happy listeners throughout the world. Classical Music Discoveries is brought to you by La Musica International Chamber Music Festival. Be sure to visit their website for more information on their internationally famous chamber music festival in Sarasota, Florida. Visit their website at lamusicafestival.org. For complete information on how to submit your music for airplay, to advertise on our show, or to visit our online music store, please visit our auxiliary website at classicalmusicdiscoveries.store for complete information. Please don't forget to like the broadcast you're listening to so the composer and musicians know you like their musical contribution. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive notifications of every new broadcast we post. Now available in our online store, classicalmusicdiscoveries.store, are handmade music blankets made by our show hostess, Sandy Hedgecock. Sandy has been a seamstress for over 55 years, and each blanket is made to her exacting standards. Each blanket is 100% polyester fleece, extremely easy to care for, machine washable, tumble dry, and has center stitching to help prevent separation of layers while washing and drying. The blankets are double layered for added warmth, reversible and have decorative edge stitching. They're perfect for picnics, watching TV, cuddling and staying warm. Each blanket is one of a kind and makes an excellent gift. See our complete limited selection at classicalmusicdiscoveries.store. Please use the search word blanket to see our complete selection of these truly one of a kind music blankets. On February 20th, 1962, at 9.47 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Colonel John Glenn blasted off into space, distance of 160 miles above the surface of the Earth, and became the first American to orbit the Earth at a speed of 17,500 miles per hour. A few months later, a small LP came out to commemorate this event. The LP is the size of a 45 uh, record. However, it does play at 33 and a third like a standard large size LP. My mother bought me a copy in July of 1962, which I still have. This record is a true collector's edition now as as far as I'm able to tell on the internet and all the stores this album does not exist at all by anyone as nobody has this for sale except for me. So if you are interested in space and a very extremely rare I should say collector's item here is an album for you. Yes it's going to be expensive because it is foreseeably the last one in existence or maybe one of the very last ones but it's it is extremely rare I have taken pictures of the cover of this and remember I was only 10 years old at the time so I did put my name on it I did put that it plays at 33 and a third rather than 45 because it looks like a 45 and also you will notice down in the bottom left of the front cover I was, I was big on secret codes at the time, so I put a code of N-O-W-A. I have no idea what that means today. Some secret message, evidently, at the time. But, you know, I was just 10 years old. As you listen to the record, you will hear that it's still in pretty good condition for being as old as it is. It's not warped at all. It was made of high-grade vinyl. It's thick, so it does not warp. It was made to stand the test of time. The jacket needs a little help. Some taping on the bottom of the top. It has been taped once before, and it needs taped again. 
So anyway, if you're interested in purchasing this, it is available for sale. If not, just enjoy the recording. And as always, thank you for listening to Classical Music Discoveries. From a distance above, never believed possible before, traveling around the Earth at 17,500 miles an hour, this is the voice of John Glenn, America's first spaceman. Roger, zero G, and I feel fine. Capsule is turning around. Oh, that view is tremendous. Roger, turn has started. On a clear blue morning, the 20th of February, 1962, at exactly 9.47 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Colonel John Glenn made history. With the cooperation of almost 20,000 men and women across the world, from Topeka to Thailand, the hearts and the prayers of all mankind flew with him. Listen now to an audio experience such as you've never had before. The complete takeoff and orbit achievement of Colonel John Glenn, American. Three control, the MA6 launch countdown is T minus one minute and counting. T minus one minute and counting. All systems are reported in a go condition. John Glenn reports he is ready. We're at T minus 19 seconds. T minus 10 seconds and counting. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero This is the voice of Colonel John Powers as he acts in the capacity of Mercury Control, keeping in direct contact with John Glenn, flying high above the Earth. The vehicle is climbing nicely on its trajectory. John Glenn reports his fuel system as planned. His oxygen system is all okay. He reports his electrical power all okay. The station reports it has a valid track on the MA6 vehicle. John Glenn reports his cabin pressure holding at 5.8 pounds per square inch. John Glenn reports all systems are go. The MA6 vehicle is approaching its sustainer engine cutoff point. John reports all systems in the spacecraft are go. The flight trajectory still looks good. We have a report. 
from the Mercury spacecraft that the sustainer engine has cut off as planned. John Glenn reports zero G and I feel fine. He says the view is tremendous. Glenn reports he could see the booster turning around behind him. He advised that he thought the sight of the booster falling away behind him was a beautiful sight to see. John Glenn reports he can see a very large plow back pattern clear back toward Cape Canaveral and says it's a beautiful sight. John Glenn reports he can see a very large plow back pattern clear back toward Cape Canaveral and says it's a beautiful sight. Astronaut John Glenn now reports his spacecraft has turned around. The blunt heat shield is facing the direction of white and is tilted up about 34 degrees above horizontal. This is the desired pre-planned orbital attitude. All indications here are that we will have, we will be able to confirm orbit within a matter of a couple of minutes. This is Mercury Control. This is Mercury Control. We'd like to confirm the liftoff time as 9.47 a.m. Eastern Standard Time at Cape Canaveral. The Friendship 7 spacecraft, that's pilot John Glenn, is now in contact with Bermuda. This is Mercury Control. This is Mercury Control. I have the figures on the cutoff conditions, that is the engine cutoff conditions on the MA6 vehicle, and the orbital velocity and insertion details. Atlas 109D, carrying the Friendship 7 spacecraft, cut its final engine off approximately 503 miles east of Cape Canaveral at an altitude of approximately 100 miles. Its velocity at that time was approximately 17,500 miles. That means that the orbit of the Friendship 7 spacecraft will vary from a low altitude of about 100 miles to a peak altitude of about 160 miles. We estimate at this time that the period of the orbit will be approximately 89 minutes. All of these numbers will undoubtedly be clarified somewhat as we get more data on the orbit. And thus John Glenn achieved orbit from a small point in southern Florida to 160 miles above the Earth at a speed of 17,500 miles per hour, circling the globe every 89 minutes. To the people watching, the space shot was thrilling. Imagine, if you can, the mixed emotions of John Glenn himself in the capsule. Hear now the voice of John Glenn communicating with Earth from takeoff to orbital achievement. Three control, the MA6 launch countdown is T minus one minute and counting. T minus one minute and counting. Roger, tape is go and I am go. Our capsule is in good shape. Roger, all systems go, seven. Oxygen uh, 7, 8, 100. Cabin pressure holding steady at 5, 8. Amps is 2, 6. All systems are go. Uh, Roger. That was Project Mercury Control Officer John Powers. This now, the voice of John Glenn. Notice the excitement and tension at initial launch. Operating. We're uh, underway. Roger. Reading you loud and clear. Roger. We're programming and roll. Okay. A bumpy along about here. Roger. Stand by for 20 seconds. Roger. Three, two, one. Mark. Roger. Backup clock is started. Zero, 102, 101, oxygen 78, 100, amps 27. Roger, loud and clear, flight path is good, 6-9. Uh, Roger, check's okay, mine was 7-0 on your mark. There's some vibration area coming up here now. Roger, reading you loud and clear, John. It's coming in to hike you a little bit, that little contrail went by the window or something there. Roger. Now, 
Roger, you're through, Max Q. Flight path is very good. Pitch 4 3. Coming out real fine. Evan Fisher coming down 5 7. Okay, flight very smooth now. Roger, flight path is good. These are cabin pressure is holding at 6-1, okay. Roger, cabin pressure holding at 6-1. Roger, you have had some oscillations, but they seem to be dead. Fun two minutes. And fuel is 102, 101, oxygen 78, 102. Either building to six. Oh, Roger, reading you loud and clear. Flight path looks good. The pitch 25, stand by for staging. Roger, Pico, Pico. Let's see the tower go. I saw the smoke go by the window. Roger, we confirm staging on DM. Roger. We'll have about one and a half G's. Roger. Over. Early tower went right then. Uh, has the tower in sight? Way out. Oh, Roger. We confirm on TM. Edison Tower is green. Roger. One and a half G's. Oh, Roger. Seven still reading you loud and clear. Flight path looks good. Auto retro jettison is off. Emergency retro jettison fuse switch off. A retro jettison fuse switch off. You hold TF2 normal. Flight path looks good, steering is good. Roger, understand everything looks good. He's starting to build again a little bit. Roger. Roger, Bermuda, stand by. This is Friendship 7, uh, fuel 103, 101, oxygen uh, 78, 100. 20 seconds to Seco. Roger. Flight path looks very good. Ten seconds, flight path still looks good. Roger. Seco. That's a great fired. Okay. Roger, stand by. Roger, zero G, and I feel fine. Capsule is turning around. Oh, that view is tremendous. Roger, turn around has started. And the rest is history. John Glenn was retrieved from a remote spot in the Atlantic Ocean by the crew of the United States battleship Noah and brought back to the shores of America and across the world. We breathed easier and thanked John Glenn, America's first spaceman. Can't get enough of classical music discoveries? Now you can listen to classical music discoveries on your Amazon Alexa device. Just say, Alexa, play the podcast Classical Music Discoveries. Classical Music Discoveries is also available online at classicalmusicdiscoveries.com, on the Podomatic app, Podbean, Spotify, YouTube, and other podcast players. No matter where you are in the world, if you have internet access, Classical Music Discoveries is always there for you. This is made possible by our sponsors, La Musica International Chamber Music Festival and Uber. This broadcast is copyrighted by Classical Music Discoveries. Any reproduction of this show without the express written permission of Classical Music Discoveries is strictly prohibited. You may request authorization by emailing us at Ken at classicalmusicdiscoveries.com. Thank you for listening to Classical Music Discoveries. We hope you have enjoyed this broadcast. To purchase this album, please visit classicalmusicdiscoveries.store. You can also advertise on our show, donate to our Women in Classical Music program, or learn more about us also at classicalmusicdiscoveries.store. Again, thank you for listening, and until next time, happy listening. <laughs>